Juncus spiralis, agroplants.org, also known as Juncus effusus spiralis, or just corkscrew rush. So this hibiscus, it's perennial plant and used for ornamental, and it's uh, usually grow as a water plant for the beautiful leaves. Uh, actually, this is stems, not leaves. Sorry. Uh, if you would like to grow it, there is a link below. Link is the right top side. And if you perch, this is donation for this channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Really help me to continue and create more videos. And you like plants, so it can grow in variety of climates: temperate, Mediterranean, desert, subtro or subtropical climate. Also, uh, a lot of people grow it indoor as a house plant, but need a lot of light. Just put it on the window, uh, it will get enough light. Uh, growing hardiness zone from 4 to 10A. And the stem colors are green. The beauty of, uh, of this plant is that they actually grow like spiral uh, or just crazy, crazy shapes of uh, the leaves. Usually it's spiral, but sometimes they just grow a lot of location and not very organized uh, so flower can be pink yellow or brown uh, the flowers grow, grow on the stems and how to grow it so it require aquatic environment or wet soil uh, better to have rich soil and use a fertilizer at least once a year cut the dead parts and uh, check the quality of the water a lot of times the water get uh, uh, let's say uh, contaminate with a lot of algae and other things and its effect on the plant and not in a positive way You can start to grow it by seeds plant even cutting or just uh, Just to separate the roots and grow it uh, you need to divide the shoots and to divide the shoots usually you need to just separate them uh, the wet is soil already so there isn't a lot of work just you need to separate, but better to use a, a stem that is at least 10 cm. It's just established much better. It's been 4 inches. And uh, except this, it's not really uh, require a lot. Just give it the same condition as fully grown, uh, mature plant. It's not must to start by stems, but it's harder to start from uh, seeds. It takes more time to grow from this something. And you cannot in really ensure that you will get this cultivar, that this is a spiralis. And this is what is beautiful. If not, it's just uh, a little bit sticks, it's stuck in the water. And it's not very, uh, not very beauty like this, let's say. Uh, so be aware that it's sensitive to drought. Uh, so if you grow it in a wet soil, check that it always stay wet. And in a, also, uh, it's really sensitive to heat waves. Planting season will be in the spring and in uh, to autumn in hardiness zone from 9 to 10a, spring to summer in hardiness zone from 7 to 8, and spring in hardiness zone of 4 to 6. Uh, pruning season will be, uh, you can do it all the year, better not in the spring. Uh, just cut uh, deadly, dead stems and uh, take off the soil, the dead uh, stems also. From the base it's better than just to cut part of it. The height of the plant will be from 20 to 50 centimeters, so it's been 8 to 20 inches. Uh, it can be even smaller, uh, 10 centimeter. Uh, this one that you see here, it's like 15 centimeters, so it's been 6 inches. And it's not really grow bigger than this, don't know why, uh, but this is this cultivar. Uh, in the right condition, it's a fast growing plant that requires prefer big amount of water, can grow also in average amount of water, but keep the soil wet. Except this light condition will grow in full sun, uh, possible to grow it in half shade, but will grow much better in full sun. And this is why when people grow it indoor, it suffer and die a lot of time. So just put it on the window that it will get all the time full sun and it will grow well. Uh, if you grow it in a container, better to have container between 5 to 10 liters, this is a minimum. It's been 1 until 2 gallons. Require, of course, big amount of water and, 
and just put fertilizer, use heavy soil uh, that won't float in the water and also use liquid uh, fertilizer, it's better if not it's make a lot of uh, problem in the water if you use like uh, hummus or other things that uh, after this floating all the leftovers it's take a lot of time and the soil it's just not good don't over uh, don't put too much fertilizer if you will put in water a lot of fertilizer you will have a lot of algaes blooming season it's in the summer to the autumn and if you want to grow it from seeds that I highly think that it's a bad idea a temperature should be from 16 to 23 Celsius it means 61 to 74 Fahrenheit wet soil uh, if you put it in a pond verify that the seed will be covered well that won't uh, move in the first uh, moving of the water a sowing season best better to do it in the spring uh, planting uh, in heavy soil if you want to transplant I highly not recommend it to plant it directly in the location uh, because you you might discover that the fish move it or something like this if you have a small pot yes but if it's a pond with a fish uh, not very good idea uh, of course this plant need full sun a big amount of water and uh, it will take between four to eight weeks to germinate. Uh, the first years need to protect the plant uh, from the winters. Uh, it's more sensitive after this, can survive winters. Uh, so this is something important. Except this, it's a lovely plant. Again, all the spiralis and not just a regular uh, because this is beauty and the other one is just, again, just, I don't know, not very pretty and it's easy to grow and it's nice to have like a water plant it just to put it in the office or in the house next to a window it's very lovely so uh, and it's not very hard to grow and maintain maintain it's usually just to prune or usually actually to take the dead parts and to put fertilizer at least once a year that's all from growplants.org don't forget to subscribe visit our website and of course, if you have any question, just ask. You have here links about more videos, some list, subscribe, and of course, purchase a plant. And this is donation for our channel. I hope you enjoy and come visit us again.